Dr. Alan Caudill is a general surgeon at Bronson South Haven and medical director of Bronson Wound Center at Hyperbaric Medicine. And whether as a general surgeon or when working with chronic wound patients, he's grateful for the opportunity to improve his patient's quality of life. He's on the other end of the phone this morning as we say good morning and learn more about Foot Health Awareness Month. Good morning, doctor, and give us the details. Good morning. As are most parts of our body, feet are things that we take for granted, but which perform an amazing function throughout our lives. Uh, the physical stresses they absorb and the sense of balance they contribute to are the basis for the majority of activities we perform. When these functions are disrupted, it can have a very profound impact on our lives. Because of that, it is vitally important that we do everything we can to protect them. Two groups of people that are at high risk for problems are people with diabetes and those with peripheral arterial disease, or PAD. One of the main reasons for this is that in these groups, the ability to pro provide blood and the essential oxygen it carries to the tissues for healing is disrupted. Also, many of these patients develop a loss of feeling in their feet called neuropathy, which greatly increases the risk of foot problems. In diabetes alone, unfortunately, the risk of developing a foot wound is 2 to 6% a year, depending on the population studied, and the lifetime risk may be as high as 34%. When you combine diabetes and arterial disease, the risk goes up significantly. What's your message to those folks during this Foot Health Awareness Month? If you are diabetic or have been diagnosed, with a PAD, it is important to get your feet checked when you go to the doctor. The problems that develop with nerves and blood supply to the feet may cause infection and wounds, which could easily lead to even more serious problems. If you have been diagnosed with both diabetes and peripheral arterial disease, the risk of problems is understandably even higher. Because of this, make foot care an essential part of your medical care in order, in order to make sure this happens and to help your doctor, which I'm sure they would appreciate, take off your shoes and socks when you go in for your exam. A few moments can help to avoid serious problems, and problems that are found early are much more easily dealt with. If you take care of your feet, they will help carry you through many active and rewarding years. Now, if somebody has a wound, when should they seek help? Well, wounds usually heal in an orderly fashion through four steps. Quite amazing process, really. When this process is interrupted, a wound will remain in a phase longer than it should. Usually this is in the second phase of what we call the stage of inflammation. At this point, an acute wound can become a chronic or stalled wound. A time of uh, 30 days is a standard that is used most often to define this condition, but if there's question about a wound uh, before this time or they're concerned, they should definitely contact their doctor or us about with some questions. So do they need to go through their primary care doctor or can they come right to the Bronson Wound Center? Well, if they are planning on seeing their doctor, definitely have them check the wound and ask about a referral to the Bronson South Haven Wound and Hyperbaric Treatment Center. But I want to make sure that your listeners are aware that they can call us directly for an appointment. A referral is not necessary. If they are concerned, they can call us at 639-2976 for more information. How can individuals avoid developing wounds on their feet? Well, proper footwear, especially in diabetics, daily foot checks and a healthy diet can all help to keep your feet sore free. It is important to address underlying health issues such as diabetes or peripheral arterial disease. I know it should go without saying, but I will say it twice. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. For diabetics, maintaining a healthy blood sugar level is very, very important. It is also crucial for those with diabetes or PAD to start or maintain a healthy, frequent exercise or physical therapy regimen. This will help with circulation, and improving circulation is one of the strongest enemies of wound development. Doctor, what's the best way to get more information about what we've discussed this morning? The best way, if they have any questions, they can call us anytime during the day, Monday through Friday at 639-2976. Uh, they can uh, talk to their provider about any issues, and uh, if they can also reach us through the uh, main hospital switchboard, just ask for the uh, Bronson South Haven Wound Center, and we will answer any questions they have gladly and provide information they need. If we are not the proper place to be seen, we're more than glad to assist them in getting to where they need to be. Always great information. Always great to talk to you, Dr. Well, Caudill. Thank you very much. I appreciate the opportunity. Dr. Alan Caudill, General Surgeon and Medical Director of Bronson Wound Center at Hyperbaric Medicine.